What is going on my pokers all over the world? This is a new type of video that we are going to be doing and uh, well, a little series if this works out well. Uh, so we have a special guest over here. Introduce yourself. Hello guys, what is up? This is Galantic Elliot. Oh my god, is that the meme himself? <laughs> the what is up guys? Alright, so basically this series is called What Do Other YouTubers Think About Leaks? Ellie, are you ready? I am so ready, man. I, you're ready. All right. This is pretty much gonna be like a odd thing because pretty much every other leak, well, rumor slash leak video that I watch was pretty much almost the same thing. But I wanna like spice it up a little. I want a little add a little adobo to it. So, all right, Ellie. First question. Uh. Oh my God, my phone. Please don't do this to me. Oh no! <laughs> oh no. Okay, what did you think when you first heard about the leak and why? So basically, I was uh, pretty actually happy about this leak. A lot of people were kind of like iffy about it because they're like, oh man, the cancel again for another generation. It's already been in four. And they're just thinking about it very, like, I don't know, badly because they thought that we've kind of canned so much that. Game Freak always tries to pester us about nostalgia and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, I can understand their point of view, but the same as that time, this gives Game Freak another year to work on Generation 8 as a whole. And I think that's very important that um, they're doing that because Generation 6 was great, but you can tell that X and Y was a bit rushed because they're, you know, the story wasn't that great, the after game did not really exist. Uh, you know, there were just some things that just kind of didn't really feel 100% finished about it, especially the Zygarde scene. And then at Gen 7, there were just so many issues, they tried to max out the graphics, but there was a lot of lag. And, uh, you know, the story was great, but then there were some other parts that just felt kind of not really the best. They could have probably done better with it, but at the same time, I felt like they were kind of just going in a certain direction that they really, you know, didn't really do 100% well because of it being kind of rushed. So, this game is, uh, you know, going to be Pokemon, let's go Eevee, and let's go Pikachu. And while the names aren't the greatest, I don't really care about the names, it's about the game. and. I personally like red, blue, yellow, and fire and leaf green are kind of okay to me. I'm not crazy about Kanto as a whole, but I think it's going to be great to go into it with new graphics and um, possibly different types of stories, possibly different types of Pokemon, maybe a Lone Forms may be in it. I don't think they will be, but who knows? And just so many different portions will be in this game, and uh, it's a nice little placeholder for a year for Pokemon content creators and Pokemon fans. This also gives people opportunity to get back into Pokemon. I think a lot of people don't really see it as a good uh, opportunity for people to get back into Pokemon, but think of it like this. So many people have a Switch, or their brother, or their sister, or their cousin have a Switch, and, you know, you, we play Odyssey, we play Zelda, but where's Pokemon? Do we really want to wait until 2019 for Pokemon? No. So why not bring out a Pokemon game right now, and have it be a nostalgic game, so then older Pokemon fans who used to play Generations 1 or even 2 can be like, oh my god, this is really cool and possibly get back into Pokemon. And then next year, they bring on Generation 8. We have, you know, high expectations because we gave them this extra year and then they're like, oh my goodness, Generation, Generation 8 is on that so many of Pokemon, so many things. And then, you know, there you have it. Just so many just crazy things to be brought out and just the potential of, you know, more remakes to come out too like third installment games getting remakes then like maybe like three or four years later on you know after they you know do a remake of fourth generation finally they can then work on doing a crystal remake and then whenever generation five remakes come out they can work on emerald remakes you know this this just gives an, an opportunity for pokemon to make even more content based on games and um, while they are remakes and whatnot they are still good content and give games another opportunity to kind of, you know, shine, and I don't know, I, I think it's a cool idea, and I think it's a cool gimmick, another opportunity for main series Pokemon games to be brought out and, and, you know, put on shelves, and I'm completely open to it, and I think that it gets way too much hate, personally. Okay, that was a lot more than I expected. <laughs> I have a lot of, uh, I have a lot of things to talk about this, man, so I'm glad you're up me on for this, and I appreciate it, man. Oh, no problem. All right. Are you ready for question two over here? Yes. All right. Do you think this game will contain any Easter eggs and uh, for the new games in the future, and what will the Easter eggs be? So that's a bit of a tough question, personally, but 
I think that they always kind of try to give you a nice little Easter egg or a nice little like rumor. Like if you look on the back of your older Sun and Moon, um, you know, game cases, it says "Let's go," and then these games oh. are "Let's go Pikachu," "Let's go Eevee." I'm gonna check that out right now. Yeah, so, so check that out right now, actually, and tell me what you see in the back. Ah, there we go, Ultra Moon, okay. Alright, oh, yes it does, okay, let me see if I can show, show it on the box. Yes, it does say let's go, okay, alright. So that's a nice little cool thing that they have, you know, it has let's go on the back of it. You, you could say that's an Easter egg, you could say it's kind of just a reference, I mean, it's not really in the game, but it's a part of the game. And, um, you know, some small gimmicky stuff like that, that can kind of uh, foreshadow for the future. And then, you know, we've had things like in Generation 1, uh, you know, where the person out of, uh, I believe it was, um, the cave that leads to Lavender, the, the cave that you need Flash for, for what, Rock Tunnel, I think? Um, you know, out of that cave, going out to Lavender, you talk to the lady right next to you, and she said, she basically talks about a moon Pokemon with flower spots on them, and then we think, in Generation 5, they brought Muna, which is basically a moon Pokemon with flowers on it. They have, like, nestle references to, like, Stuff like that, and I feel like they definitely will have something. Maybe like Team Rocket will talk about it, uh, some sort of reference. Maybe you know, uh, we'll see like a Lily as an Easter egg in Kanto because Lily, you know, after uh, you know Sun and Moon said that she was going to go to Kanto and whatnot. So I feel like one of those two things may occur, and you know, we'll see. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Third question. Are you excited for this game, and what do you think will be your final in-game team? Honestly, I am so excited, and like I said before, this is going to be giving an opportunity for older Pokemon fans to get back into the game, and then I still play Assault to hold this over until Generation 8, and to give Generation 8 more longevity, and just, I guess, you know, it's going to give people more familiarity with how this engine works. This is the first time they're making a main series game on the, uh, you know, actual console, so it's going to be opening up a lot of, like, different possibilities, and, you know, I, I cannot wait, dude. It's going to be really, really cool. Um, my final team, I really don't know uh, if it has all the starters. That's one thing that I'm wondering. If it's like Pokemon Yellow, you can get all three of the Kanto starters. So I think that uh, I kind of have to use Pikachu. I, I think that's, you know, if, if, I'm, if I'm playing Pikachu version, I'm, I'm using Pikachu. If I'm playing okay. Eevee version, I'm using Eevee. And if I do use Eevee, then I'm going to evolve that thing more than likely into Jolteon. Not because Jolteon is my favorite, but because, you know, it's going to be my electric type. And I'm guessing the game's not going to have a lot of electric types to use because it's going to be based on Kanto. So I'm more likely to use Jolteon just because I'm using Pikachu in the other one. So it's going to kind of fill that gap. Uh, I'm probably going to use Charizard. Uh, not because Charizard is my favorite. It really isn't. But as a flyer, it just works super well. There aren't too many good flying types in Kanto. Uh, so Charizard being your flyer is something that's pretty nice. Um, mm. I think if I'm playing the yellow version and I am able to get an EV in that game, I'll more than likely make it a Vaporeon because Vaporeon is just such a beautiful Pokemon and, uh, I don't know, it's bulky and it just puts in the finest of work. Um, I definitely want to use Snorlax because Snorlax is just a beast, dude. Like, you cannot hate on Snorlax. <laughs> that thing is a tub of love monster. I freaking <laughs> love yeah. that thing. Um, I'm talking with you right now, so maybe I'll, I may use Slowpoke on the team, make it a slow bro. you never know. I mean, okay. the possibilities there. I'm, I'm talking to, don't poke your eyes out right now, man. Like, oh I, my god. I, I may have to do that, but that's if I don't have Vaporeon on the team. That, that could be a nice water type for the non Vaporeon team, or maybe even Staryu. I don't really get to use Star Milch in playthroughs, but those three possibilities for water types can never hurt whatsoever. Um, I think Primeape is a pretty cool Pokemon. I, I would not mind having that as my, uh, as a nice little fighting type for the team. And last but not least, I think that I would like to have something like Needle King or Needle Queen on the team. I typically use Needle uh, King in playthroughs, so I wouldn't mind trying Needle Queen as it's just overall a def more defensive, uh, you know, of the Needles, and just it's really good, man. If you guys have any sort of uh, teams that you would like, uh, you know, to use, leave it in the comment section below on what you guys think about Pokemon. Let's go Eevee and let's go Pikachu. All right, I did say there was three questions. I actually have a bonus question for you. Ooh, okay. All right. Why do you think we're going back to Kanto? Well, I mean, here's the question: Why, why, why not? I mean, they, they've they've been referencing Kanto so much, and that's part of the reason why people aren't too happy about this. The fact that they bring up Kanto so much, there's so many references and cross, you know, just cross mentions about it in general. Like in Gen Seven, they talk about it. And then, you know, it's been in the first four generations, and Shoto, you go back to Kanto and stuff like that. So, 
why not go back to Kanto? But, you know, I, I think it's mostly just because of nostalgia and because of opportunities. Like, Alone and Forbes are in Gen 7. They talk about Gen 7 a lot. Loli goes back to Kanto. Or I should say Kanto in Gen 7. And I feel like because of that, they just think, oh, why not? And I feel like, again, it just gives them an opportunity to bring out more remakes in the future, stemming off of Gen 1 and Gen 2 to Gen 3 all over again. Okay. All right. All right, the questions are done. You may now click on the link, my good sir. I have it open, my friend. Oh, as you said, there is a reason why there's going back. There's a reason why we're going back to cancel. So, this is a little playthrough that I did. What was it? Freaking when did Sun come out? What was it last year? Sun and Moon came out in 2016 of 2016 I it was November, okay. uh, like 17 or 21 or something like that. So, middle of November, pretty much. All right, so this is going to be technically a little part. It's a five-minute video, so there's going to be a little bit of part one, which is the beginning of the game, and part 39. So make sure you guys go check that out. So there'll be two, I guess, little cutscenes. Uh, that is basically important. So, all right, are you ready? I'm ready, my man. Three, two, one, go. Can you pump some meat, some alone in Pokemon? It's going to sound so bad, cringy. That's right. I want to hurry up and meet some too. We, we're we living in the Alola region now. That's beautiful. The, the beautiful islands everyone wants to visit. Pretty much. I'm sure the Pokemon living in, in a place like this must be friendly, right? I guess. Was that the doorbell? I don't know. Maybe it was the last of us. I don't know, man. That's gotta be Professor Mikey, Kiki. you're reading this. <laughs> I know, right? Kai Kiki? Should be a... I don't know. Should be a... I, <laughs> <reader>. <laughs> so so dumb. What happened, man? It's okay, so bad. Okay, he just himself in. That's cool, too. That's fine. It's fine with me. Just... Hey there, Mikey. The name is Kiki. Good to meet you, cousin. Is he... See my cousin? You gotta be tired after a long trip all the way out here to Lola. You feeling angelic? I don't think so, man. We should have took a long, <clears throat> long way from Kanto out here in Lola. I guess. Uh, it's still. See, always reference to Kanto. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the main reason why it's I want to make this video. We just arrived yesterday. Hey there, mom. I just let myself in. Oh. I don't even okay. know why I paused there. You call me Kiki, don't you? Welcome to the I know. Of course, I still remember seeing you battle in the Enigo gym. Le leaders back in Kento. Kento again. Oh, snap! Flashback! Oh, this is... I've been in love with the alone Pokemon ever since, so I decided... Yeah, I decided... Finally decided to come here for myself. Okay. Ha, I was supposed to be visiting there to re research Kento Pokemon moves and all. I thought I knew a thing or two about battling, but those cancel gym leaders proved me wrong. Oh, oh no, Hugh! I just, now this uh, is part 39. Everybody just barges in the, the door. Why not? This is definitely your house to live in. So loud. <clears throat> it's a disaster, a total disaster. What's wrong, Hugh? Oh, Auntie, I'm s Hi, sorry. I'll explain later, but, but my guess is coming to me right now. You know, hurry. The ship's gonna leave. Ship? What? I'm guessing this, when it, this is whenever uh, Lily leaves. Yep. Yep. That is correct. <laughs> yep. Her leaving a Kanto. You know, Lily, Kanto is a long way from here. Try not to let the jet lag hit you too hard. And it's well. She said she'd be too sad to watch you go, so she wouldn't even come out with me. I know it's a lot to ask, but Mikey's favor her feels. this time, would you? I know. She just tell feels, me feels over here. The walk and be glad. It's yours to use indefinitely, so you can come back and stay whenever you like, Lily. You didn't tell us. Who? I'm sorry. I decided to go out to go to Kinto. Tell my mother get better. But more than that, 
helps help myself get stronger. That's why I mentioned Lily possibly uh, being course, in the game, like maybe like an after story type thing. Yeah. Lily's quest. The thought of going to cancel also. Or maybe her being like a side gym leader or something. Maybe in the League 4, you never know. I'm going to become a real trainer and meet all of the kinds of wonderful Pokemon. I'm going to travel all around Kanto, just like we did here on Alola uh, for your Island Challenge. No matter what happens in my journey, I'm going to be okay. Because of the smiles that you share with me, you and Mikey, and everyone here. Thank you all so much. And that's why someday I'll be come back to Alola again. But, but, but I haven't got to say any of the things I wanted to say to you. That's uh, alright. I'm gonna send you a letter. A really, really long one. You better wait. How's the thing for her? And please. <laughs> Literally. What do I get? What do I get? But yeah, this is basically the main point why I want to make this type of video. So I can get, like, you know, your opinions. I don't even know if you thought of this. So. Yeah. I've thought of it a few times about how, you know, they okay, reference Kanto so much in Alola, so why not, you know, have some sort of crass references? Mm hmm. Possibly you going to Alola in the after game, or you seeing Lily in Kanto, seeing Alolan forms as variants to the Kantonian forms. Hmm. Cross. That was like. Yeah, so I was basically like thinking like, you know, finish the main game first, like normal, and then like, you know, after game, then comes Kyuki, maybe we'll see like, you know, him versing like whoever, etc. like uh, Lance, because they met, he mentioned Lance, uh, which I'm pretty sure you should see that video before, I'm not plugging myself in, kind of, Kappa, but <laughs> yeah. But this is the reason why I wanted to let you in on this, because you're basically the first person to do this. So thank you so much, Ellie. I really appreciate it. Of course, man. Thank you so much for having me. And if you guys enjoy the video, make sure you guys like the video. Make sure you guys show Mikey some love, aka don't poke your ass on, because he's an awesome dude. All right, Ellie. Thank you so much for joining. And make sure to, you know, check out this nice, sexy, awesome Grimer. Uh, channel. I'll, leak, I'll leave his link down below and uh, yeah, I'll try and get this uploaded as soon as possible for you guys So you guys can you know go subscribe to this man and go use that twitch prime Kappa, <laughs> but anyway, hey man, I appreciate that. Thank you again for having me dude No, no problem. So hopefully, you know, you go check out, you know, the other video and check out this one. So <laughs> For sure, man. Thank you guys for watching And have a good one and make sure not to poke your eyes out. That's the main one thing Mm-hmm, <laughs> peace.